Ladies and gentlemen, let me put all of this in a broader context, because what the government of Nana Akufuado is doing with NAPCO is just one piece of a greater jigsaw that we are putting together for the transformation of Ghana as a whole. You will remember that in 2016, Ghana was amongst the slowest growing economies in the developing world, growth of about 3.6%. Today, the data shows that this year, Ghana will be the fastest growing economy in the world. In the world. In 2019, Ghana is going to be the fastest growing economy, according to the IMF. But hold on. Last year, in 2018, Ghana was also amongst, if not the fastest growing economy in the world. In 2018. So from amongst the slowest in 2016 to amongst the fastest in 2018 and 2019. It cannot be a coincidence. It cannot be a coincidence. It is only the result of competent economic management. Inflation today, inflation today stands at 7.6%. This is the lowest since 1992. The lowest since 1992. But we are not even making noise about it. We have stabilized the economy. We have grown the economy. And we have not left the poor behind. We are digitizing this economy. In fact, I tell you, my brothers and sisters, within two to three years, Ghana will be the most digitized economy in Africa. There's no doubt about it. Give us another two to three years, and this economy will be so different because of what we are putting together. And it is all coming together very soon. The pieces will all be put together. Indeed, the facts, the facts and the data show that the government of President Nana Adodankwa Akufuado has performed not just better, but much better than the government of former President John Dramani Mahama. Those are the facts and the data. <laughs> they are incontrovertible. When it comes to GDP growth, we have performed better. Agricultural growth, we have performed better. Industry growth, we have performed better. Inflation, we have performed better. Interest rates, we have formed Exchange rate depreciation, we have performed better. The fiscal deficit, we have performed better. Balance of trade, we have performed better. Current account balance, we have performed better. Gross international reserves, jobs, we have performed better. So, this is just halfway through. Teacher training allowances. <laughs> Nursing training allowances, passport application, driver's license application, renewal of NHIS membership, registering a business, doom so.
the cost of electricity, the taxes, efficiency of clearing goods from the ports, the cost of clearing goods from the ports, the right to information act, Zongo development, national ID cards, mobile payment interoperability, one district, one factory, one village, one dam, one constituency, one ambulance, the digital address system, free SHS, There's one more, last but not the least, NAPCO. <laughs> so, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to the performance of the economy, in the first term in, of office of our government under the leadership of Nana Kufuado, when you compare what I have just listed and you compare the first term in office of the NDC, then it is clearly a case of boot for Chalewote. And on that note, I rest my case. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.